So the factors affecting a choice of operating systems um, in the previous video for the sets of operating system videos that I've done, um, I've already sort of mentioned a little bit. Um, I'm hopefully going to go over a bit more now. Um, but obviously the factor that affects, or the, one of the main factors that affect the choice of an operating system is the type you need. So a multi-user or a single user or, you know, a real-time operating system, like, um, it depends on what your company or business needs it for or your user. Um, somebody at home is not going to need a real-time operating system because there is absolutely no need for it. Whereas a business will probably need to use a, a real-time operating system if they're, say, a manufacturing company and they need to have um, safety systems put in place. They might need that. So, as I say, the type of system depends on, on the need for it. Um, when it says origin of operating system, because it does say this in the spec, it basically means if it's a paid for operating system or an open source operating system. Now, um, I go over this in another set of videos, so please have a look at um, utility application software and proprietary and open source software. I do talk about that a lot more. Um, but for now, um, what you need to know is propri proprietary systems are paid for systems like Windows and Apple, uh, Mac OS and stuff like that, that um, you cannot alter. So you pay a fee and they're usually built for a specific purpose. Um, a lot of people tend to use Windows because they're obviously designed very well. Um, but open source operating systems like Linux that are free, um, they're usually used for um being able to be changed for certain products so it might be that your open source operating systems used for um a specific business need that you need to change it for so it, it depends on um if you're looking for something quick and easy which would be expensive or something that would take time to work on but obviously would be potentially beneficial for you in the long run and maybe even a bit cheaper Compatibility with components is a big one because the thing is if you try and run Windows 10 on a system that's 20 years old It's not going to work because the requirements to run the operating system are going to be way too high for it, um, it You've got to think about your different sort of operating systems and be like right Will this work on the components? I have in because in another 20 years time Windows 10 is not going to work um, Sorry, th the new iteration of Windows will not work with the hardware we have now that like we know this, we we can definitely say that that will be a fact. Um, intended use. So obviously, if you're if you're going to be getting an operating system just for gaming, um, you don't need anything super fancy. You just need something that will play games. So like Windows is usually the one to go for because um, a lot of companies design their games to be run on Windows machines. Um, whereas if you get something like Linux. You can run games on Linux, but you have to optimize it yourself usually, which I imagine most people, including myself, don't know how to optimize games for a specific platform. It depends on what um, your platform runs on, but Windows is usually um, the best place to go for sort of PC games anyway. So when you say intended use, it's like, what are you using it for? I'm using it just for simple Word documents, because if you are, you could use something like Linux, because they have a... a a free sort of word processing um, uh, package that you can get on there and obviously Chrome OS um, is just for Chrome systems so you could just use Google Docs if you're just using it for for simple things like that like depends on what you need your operating system for because you don't want it for anything like uh, super you don't want anything super expensive and really fancy if you don't need it so uh, again intended use is, is a really big one um, Obviously, customization is a, a really huge one for businesses, and I've already sort of mentioned that when I was talking about, um, you know, types of system. But customization for a business, they might want, say, like um, McDonald's with uh, a kiosk. If you've ever seen the kiosks at McDonald's, they have um, a specific application designed for them now they will alter the operating system just to do that specifically now i don't know if anybody's ever seen this before this is something called graphene 
Um, Graphene's a type of operating system that's used on Android devices to be really secure. Um, and it was originally intended for um, a business that were sort of sending secure um, messages between um, people who were going out. And I think it was for, I don't know if it was for military actually or something like that. I think it was for the military um, for using on phones. So it would it was specifically designed for that. Um, depends on what your business needs it for, but you could create an operating system that does a sp specific job. Um, again, that could be like uh, the McDonald's machines that you've probably seen before or something like Graphene. Performance, again, for especially for business, um, the better the performance, obviously the quicker people can work on things and, and produce better quality items or um, Word documents or whatever. Like performance is a really, really big um, deciding factor in that. So um, that's something to bear in mind when you're uh, talking about, you know, what factors of choice, you know, affect the choice of an OS. Um, and obviously, finally, cost. Um, I would say Windows doesn't cost a lot. Um, it probably costs about, I think last time I looked, about forty pounds for your average user. But for a business, it might cost, you know, for a an industrial license you know a few thousand depends on what you need it for um with things like um cost and uh performance and things like that um you want to get your obviously best uh you know quality for how much you pay um you don't want to pay thousands of pounds to then have something that doesn't really work for you or is not really useful for you um so cost is a big one especially for businesses because they don't want to spend thousands on software an operating system that has got a lot of bells and whistles but they don't need the bells and whistles because what's the point they're just going to waste the money um but when we were sort of looking at cost so this is um as of recording with uh, the new nvidia 3000 series have been released and if you look um the cost of a 3080 type card is roughly about 700 dollars so the cost and performance that you're going to get compared to the old 2080 series has gone up like a lot. So um, cost and performance usually go hand in hand. And obviously what you want is you want it as far up as possible for as low down on the um, uh, cost scale as possible. Which, to be honest, the 3080 is a pretty good um, uh, cost for that. That's That's not a bad... Uh, price 700 pounds um so when you're talking about sort of operating systems especially they will have things like that where it'll be like right um your system might cost thousands but your performance you'll get out of it relative to you know what you're paying for might not be that great so it, it all depends on things like this um you have to really sort of look into why that is a thing but please bear in mind like things like this if you ever get asked about what would affect your choice of an operating system if it ever came to, um, for a question like that in an exam um, 